Got the new Nest Learning Thermostat. We're gonna unbox it. I'm going to replace my existing Nest Thermostat. I just like the, the spinning style more. Uh, granted, the one I have has been working fine. You could control it with the Google Home app and everything. So I turned off the power, made sure it was off. I took a picture of all the wiring before I disconnected my Nest Thermostat. And before that, I had a older thermostat, which I took a picture of as well. So I have all the pictures of what the wires are supposed to be, and I've labeled them accordingly. So these screws for me are more than enough, but I'm just going to put two more screws here and here. Um, just because I already have the holes and I already have the screws and it's it's a perfect match anyways So it doesn't hurt to Essentially put these in All right, so now we're gonna take the wires out Through this hole Okay Got all the wires, and there it is. So next I'm gonna use the two short screws to attach this in place. So again, let everything go through here. Make sure everything's leveled. Uh, so to put the wires in, um, you basically just push this in. That's about how much wire you need exposed. You pop that in and then you're good to go. And to take it out, you push that in and then it comes out. So again, so pop that in, pop that in and you're good to go. Now I'm going to go turn on the power and we'll continue from there. Now that we turn on the power, it looks like this light goes on, which is confirming power is on. Everything's good to go. And in the app, we're going to continue. Uh, remove that. So I already did all of that. Is your in, it's not inside an electrical box? Are you using the trim? Yes, I am. Um, pull the wires through the trim, which I already did. I put those two screws in, and um, good to go there. Organize uh, your wires. Sure, already did that. Hold down. Already did that. Uh, push them in. Already did that and attach the display. So now I'm gonna pop in the display. So it says to pop in the display, then turn the power on, but I just wanna make sure power is going on. And the display, the pins are on the bottom, USB-C is at the top. Um, so we're just gonna pop it in like, there it is, okay. So pop that in. It, it says now turn on the power, but again, mine was already, um, I had just turned it on just right before just to confirm that Okay, so I'm gonna click next it's gonna connect and then we're gonna just set it up So it could connect to the Wi-Fi and then I could just control it with my voice just like I did with the other one 12 seconds later. All right, so now it says what is your heat fuel source? I'm natural gas personally. I'm natural gas uh, forced air in floor radiant radiator. So mine is happens to be forced air um, I do have a furnace how do you want your fan to be controlled? So we could do it with the furnace, that's fine. Uh, which mode should you use thermostat today? Let's do cooling. So it says no Wi-Fi and I'll, I'll turn on the Wi-Fi so we should be golden. Later. Oh, I love that. Look how cool that is. I miss this spinning feature with with my older one you would have to like slide with your finger here which is fine um, and the older one looks really nice too in fact you could argue that the older one might even look nicer um, just because it's a mirror it just it looks really cool um, but I just I just miss this like spinning thing because I had the older Nest thermostat I believe it was the third generation and uh, I really liked it, but I was like, let me try the new one because it looked cool, and, and it does. Uh, but I'm like, you know what? Let's, since the new one came out, let's try it out. Yeah, this thing is awesome. So um, you push it in. It's, menus are very similar, so you got the heat, heat cool, and 
yeah so heat and heat cool so basically that keeps the temperature cool only cools uh, if it's above that temperature it cools until it gets to that temperature and it won't turn off until it gets to that temperature and heat's the exact thing where heat and cool basically try to keep a certain temperature whether it goes above or below um, that's what it's doing so we're good with that uh, you push into select you could do the hold you could do the eco mode if you want to do that you could do the fan and then you could go to settings and lock the device equipment device settings um, so it's just yeah temperature sound on language uh, you could set some of the stuff in the app to matter one app is linked network is connected version account technical info factory reset and uh, not registered for now and then I could just go to done you could obviously also control it from the app as well so it will update it takes a second but it will update um, you can also do with Google commands as well if you have a Google Assistant set up you can also control it like that uh, and I don't know it's very convenient you can as long as this guy is connected to the internet and your device is connected to the internet you can also turn on the AC and turn off the AC uh, even if you're not home so there's lots of things you can do with this thing um, your energy dashboard oh yeah so we go to Farsight so you could do the digital clock um, you could do the analog clock you could do the temperature that it's currently at indoor 76 and it's going to 73 so uh, weather I mean this thing is awesome it's, it's truly like fantastic so if you want to install the sensor that it comes with you would go through the app um, so Google Nest sure it looks for devices and uh, this thing is battery powered so the point of this is basically it can read this as a temperature sensor in another room as well so if let's say one of the rooms isn't getting as hot or as cold as you want it to be it can actually take that into account so it says scan the QR code on the Nest thermostat so on the back you basically would just spin that I guess I did want to show you guys the battery as well so that's the battery it comes with it's a lithium CR2 3 volt non rechargeable battery which I'm sure will last a long time rounded so find the entry key few moments later all right so I set up the sensors and you guys could see it says when multiple sensors are selected the thermostat heats or cools your home based on the average indoor temp from the sensors so based on the average temp so it takes both into account and then it cools it down that way so if you guys enjoyed this video smash that subscribe button I'll catch you guys in the next one